YouTube, Pipsy Pinwheel here, and this is my second talking at you video, and this video is based off my tiny little house. What tiny little house you might be wondering? That one, right there, the orange one. <laughs> All right. Um, so I've had a lot of people ask me what kind of camper it is, where I got it from, and a bunch of fun little questions that I am going to try my best to answer right now and right here for you. So before we go into the camper and I show you how I have it set up, which by the way, it's messy. I have not yet cleaned it out. Uh, from my drive from Florida. I'm in Michigan right now. So, um, this camper over here, I believe, is from 2015? Maybe 2014. Yeah. It's, it's about there, but the info I'm reading off to you is from the Runaway Campers website. Runaway Campers is based out of Ocala, Florida. This is the 2020 info, but it should you know, be about the same. So the starting price for a cool camp camper is $4,495. The weight of this camper is about 580 pounds. Now, if you like, you know, add all of the things you're putting in it to tow along with it, that obviously adds up. But um, you can also put a bunch of options and cool little things with your camper. You can get um, a roof rack for your camper. You can have doors put in different places. You can get a bunch of little cool add-ons. Now, I'm going to try and read this the best I can. Overall, 11,4 long. Maybe inches? Uh, 65 inches high by 66 wide interior, 46.5 inches wide by 94.5 inches long by 42-46 inches high. I'm not good at math. I'm regurgitating what I wrote down. Maybe it's correct. Go to their website if you want to know the, like, super correct way of saying that. So, that's the info I had written down on here. Let's go to the camper. So, um, while we're w taking this walk to my camper, for those of you who don't know, I am a traveling performer. And when I do mostly Renaissance festivals, there's a campsite and I can park my lovely little camper there. Bush not included. However, you can make your own bush out of wood and paint. So, <laughs> Here is the outside of my camper. There's the little, like, uh, I guess mud flap rim. I don't, I'm trying to do my best here. Let you know what's on the thing. Um, they have nicer versions of this. Uh, here's, oh, on the outside. So they don't come orange. My dad actually surprised me, um, one day when I came home. A, he painted the entire outside orange. I believe this is exterior house paint. And you can see right here, I, uh, you know, anxiously peeled some off because I'm a jerk. Um, and I did the accents in black. So you can see my nice little Halloween thingamabobs all the way around. <laughs> and there, also, uh, this little wooden box comes with an AC unit. And an electrical, sorry guys, an electrical outlet thing, that little yellow thing. You put an extension cord in and then you plug it into electricity. It's great. Uh, we have this wonderful outside storage bin that ran into something and we fixed with duct tape. On the inside we have a French press, a Cuban coffee maker, a teapot, an extension cord, and basically just a bunch of ways to make coffee. So you can see where my priorities are. Uh, I pull this with my Toyota Yaris hatchback. It's a 2009 Toyota Yaris hatchback. Um, this thing weighs about 580 pounds. 
I wouldn't recommend towing it with a hatchback, but that's what I have and that's what I'm towing it with. Let's go inside. Welcome to my crib. All right, so I have one door. You can totally get this with like multiple entrances. I got one. <laughs> Now, on the inside, of which is very dark, because it's getting darker here in Michigan, and I did not think to do this earlier in the morning, so I'll probably make another video. But till then, let's see, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Up here is a shelf that I'm able to put a lot of things on. Down here, I have these uh, dresser things that stack up onto each other. I got them from Target. Um, over here, I have a tiny little trash bin. Um, over here, you can't really see. Uh, I would turn the lights on, but I'm not plugged into electricity right now. So over here, there is a, an electrical outlet. Um, the AC unit is plugged into it. I have a lamp up here, and again, you can't really see, but, like, all around the inside of the camper, this is just little electrical lights that are strung along hooks all around the inside of the camper. And it's very messy right now because I just got back from Florida. Um... My mermaid tails are in here. This is my little my, my silicone mermaid tail and this one is my Mer Taylor Myrtle Juice fun fabric tail. But um what I'm sitting on is a bed I got off Amazon. It's a travel bed, it like folds up. Uh, I wanna say this one's a twin. I don't know. I want to say it's a twin. It might not be a twin, but depending on your dimensions inside your camper, you can get one of these. Um, there's room on the side to put different things. So it's nice. Uh, I painted the inside orange. You probably can't tell because, well, a little bit. Painted the inside orange. Um, the only issue I've found with that is that when you are going to sleep at night, you wake up in the morning. There's a bunch of condensation on the walls. So everything you're exhaling um, just condensates on the wall. So if you want to crack open the windows, which let's do it on the outside. Here's the windows. Um, you have your glass window and there's a bug screen and that's great. Um, you can also open the bug screen. I suggest if you are going to sleep in it, don't leave the bug screen open because you'll wake up with flies in your mouth from experience. So <laughs> just leave it open a crack and you should be fine on the condensation on the walls. Now, there's another thing I mentioned condensation. I forgot. But, oh, also, you can use pillowcases as curtains. There, you'll find a bunch of ways to accessorize the inside of your camper and make it work for you. Um, this, oh, oh, that's what I was going to say. So because you're in such a small space, and I don't know if you're in a humid place or a very dry place, but it's always good. Um, there's these things called damp rid. It's like, this isn't damp rid. It, this is just a trash can, but... Damp Rid comes in a very smaller version of this size thing. It's like that big. And it pulls the moisture out of the air and it really, really, really makes a big difference in such a small space. So, I fully endorse the runaway camper. This thing can hold so much clown. Anywho. That's my house. I'll make another video when it's brighter out and I have it actually plugged in so you can see the inside a lot better and I can actually show you my setup without it just being um, in ruins from when I drove up from Florida in the middle of the night. Worried about the possibility of not getting into Michigan because of the virus. So, that is my YouTube video. 
of my runaway camper. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any questions at all about said camper or about me, please feel free to comment and ask. And all right, this video is done. I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.